just will try to understand how it will working out it is a coefficient of x plus y to the power x nc0 nc1 selection of 0 0 and more that is called all coefficient of the binomial expansion this is selection of 0 selection of 1 selection of 2 selection of all means selection of 0 and more it is called all binomial expansion how will you use for compound interest just we'll look we'll take one simple example your principal amount is 100x r is 5 percent annually n equal to 3 once n equal to 3 you take the third line from pascal triangle pascal triangle third line what is coefficient 1 3 3 1 if n equal to 4 number n is number of the years if number of years is equal to 4 then you just write 1 4 6 4 1 if number of years is 5 1 5 10 10 5 1 and this especially is much helpful to find the difference between compound interest and simple interest. Then this is your third row, n equal to 3, you just write 1, 3, 3, 1. Just I am telling you, working steps, how to use. 1, 3, 3, 1. Your principal amount is 100x, we have taken here. 100x you multiplied with 1, that is your first calculation, you just write line 1, this is your first line. 100x you take 5% interest it will become 5x you multiply it with 3 all will become multiplication then it will become your line 2 5x again you take 5% interest whatever annual rate of interest is given 5% you keep on take 5% it will become 0.25x you multiply it with 3 this will become your again you multiply this is your multiplication then you will get the line 3 again you take 5% last one will become very less no need to take most of the time like, like three times you only you have taken 5%, 5%, 5% value has become 0 0.0125x. It will become very small. Again, you multiply with one. This is your fourth line. Okay. Now, all these lines, how to just understand mathematically and especially in terms of CI and SI. Line one, this is P into one. That will always give the principal. Okay. Line two will give the simple interest in three years. Line two, only line two. This is you can write only line 2. Only line 2 will give only simple interest, not including principal. Only simple interest in 3 years. Line 1 plus 2, if you are adding P into 1 means 100x plus 5x into 3, 15x means 115x, it will become amount in SI. Means simple interest amount after 3 years, if you are putting 100x under 5%, then it will become 15x. 15x is your interest. That is your line 2. That is your line 2. Just to multiply 5x into 3, 15x. If you will add 100x plus 15x, it will become 15x. That is your 1 plus 2. Now, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, all if you are keep on adding, maybe n equal to 4, the number of lines will become, uh, number of lines will become how many? Total number of lines will become 5. You are getting my point. If n equal to 4, then total number of lines will become 5. Then whatever number of lines is there, after first onward, first plus second plus third plus four, it will give you amount in compound interest. Total amount means principal plus interest. Or you can say principal plus simple interest plus interest on simple interest. That is compound interest. Principal plus simple interest will give the amount under simple interest. Principal plus simple interest plus interest on simple interest that will give you amount in compound interest. Now, first we will just make minus, then it will come second plus third plus four, it will come compound interest in three years. And third and fourth, only if you are taking third and fourth onward, means you are just removing one and two. You are taking only third onward. How many lines will be there? That will depend on the number of years. Third onward, if you are taking, that will always give you difference between compound interest and simple interest and that is most most helpful from this pascal triangle means line one and two you just leave it you just take three four or whatever line is there mainly mainly one or two line will be sufficient because further and further value will become so small it will not affect the answer it will not affect the answer you will be able to mark the answer very easily then your third fourth or maybe next line is there then you can take that one also then third fourth third onward whatever line will be there that will give you the difference between ci and si okay